Hey, what's up? Andrew Kramer here, videocopilot.net, and welcome back to another very exciting project file giveaway thing that I'm doing. Uh, basically, I created this cool project file that's kind of this like LCD pixel screen, and uh, let's take a look. So what's cool about it is that it's 3D and uh, it's all based on the CC ball action effect. And so what's nice is it's a 3D aware effect so I can move around and I can actually get really close and uh, I'm not going to lose resolution. Um, I'm using a couple of copies of it to kind of give it a little bit more detail and then I've got just a couple layers of some textures to give it a little bit of depth as if uh, you know, as if we're kind of looking through a screen. And then you can also see I just have a uh, simple reflection layer uh, that just kind of gives it a little bit of a gloss. Now, the one tricky thing is the depth of field. Because the uh, pixel poly effect is not a depth of field aware plugin, it's only 3D, we had to improvise. So, I have a adjustment layer with the camera lens blur effect. Now, in order to get this to work, what you need is a depth mat. So I have a depth of field mask here, which is just a ramp. And basically what I've done is once you set up the camera angle, so if I'm doing a camera angle like this, all I need to do is go into the depth mask and set up the ramp to follow that angle. So maybe something like that. In that sort of direction. And then when you turn on the depth of field, you'll get somewhat of a natural depth of field. And you can even change the focal point here by just adjusting this point. And uh, just creates a nice, uh, a nice result. So the blur radius right here, we could uh, crank that up. Almost looks like a you know, macro shot of a, of a phone screen even. So some cool stuff you can do with it. Here we have a low battery warning. And what you can do is if you go to the comps, with the CC ball action, you can actually change the ball size, which will sort of affect the way the pixels look. So if you want to go for a more filled in look, you can make the uh, pixels a little bit larger, even shut off the top copy that has kind of the higher brightness pixels. If you want this to be, you know, a low end display, you could turn the grid spacing up. So it kind of has a little bit bigger uh, dots, but if you want the retina display, uh, go down to zero. So uh, either one of those will kind of create some slightly different looks. So play around with that for sure. Now if you turn up the scatter amount, it actually kind of explodes out everywhere. So I don't know. Usually my phone just shuts off, but I've heard about phones exploding. So could be real. All right. I hope you guys like the project file. I'm Andrew Kramer and we will see you next time.